everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe Seavey. And happy Wednesday, everybody. And Wednesday is our ghostwriting uh, class from our creative writing series. Um, what is ghostwriting? It's when we take a popular song, a top 40 song, a top 100 song on Billboard, or any of the other big music platforms like Billboard, like I said, um, and we take the lyrics or the chorus of that song, whatever song we, we choose, and we rewrite our own lyrics in there. And uh, you're probably thinking, why would you do that? It's already a, an established song. Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, it's a really great creativity exercise because you're taking a song that you've probably heard a lot, you know, especially if you do it with a classic rock song or a classic, just a legendary, like, Imagine changing the words to Thriller, you know, writing the whole the, a whole new chorus to Thriller. You have to kind of unlearn everything you've remembered about it. So it's really hard to do. Um, the other the other plus of this is, like I said, it's a great creative mind exercise. And um, as songwriters, we always write songs. And, um, you know, when we write songs, we always put our best stuff in our first verse. So this is a great exercise for you for practice for writing your second verse, okay? Plus, here's the good side of this too. If for nothing else, you've wrote a great chorus for yourself. It's all new. You don't have to go by that melody of the song you wrote it for, or even the timing. You could pick a new timing of it. And you got your own set of lyrics that you wrote yourself that are original and fresh, you know? So, and it will sound nothing like the song that you're you know, uh, writing the ghost parts to, because it's not the same words at all. So the song uh, that I picked tonight for our exercise is a band called Why Don't We? And the song is called Fallen. And uh, I like the song. It was kind of a cool song. Um, has a pop feel to it, but it also almost has like a an Imagine Dragons-y kind of uh, feel to it, you know? I like uh, Imagine Dragons because they're, they're so pop, but yet at the same time they have a rock element. Like if you saw them in concert, there's enough live music surrounding the, the sound of them that they have an organic sound, even though they mix a lot of like digital and, you know, technical pop elements in with the organic sounds of, you know, like a band, like guitars and drums and bass and whatnot. You have like heavy synths and then you have like, you know, digital percussion and things like that. So, um, so I like the song and I like the way it was lyrically um, laid out too. the way it's like sung. It's very um, percussive, you know, and very in the pocket. And, um, you know, it's really it's a difficult exercise. Like I said, it takes a lot of thinking a lot of creativity. It's not something that, like I say this every week, this is not something you can do while you're balancing your checkbook or talking to your Aunt Millie on the phone while you're writing it down. No, you need to be in a room by yourself with no one around you, the door shut, listening to the song. And here's the other thing I want you to do. When you do this, it's really important that you do this. You write down their lyric, take a piece of paper, a sheet of paper, write down their first line of their chorus. Then you start to write your line of your first chorus right underneath. So it has the same amount of um, syllables. It has the same, you know, it starts the same and stops at the same time as yours does, um, or as the, yours stops and starts the same time theirs does. If their, if their um, first line has six words in it and there's, one syllable words, but six lines, six words, I want yours to be like that. Unless you have a two or three syllable word and it bounces in the same amount of time that those one syllable words fall into place. I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, and then of course, your, your version has to make sense. It has to tell a story. And of course it's got to rhyme. You know, I always think of it like this. Think, I know it sounds cocky, try to write a better chorus than the original. You know, I know that sounds really cocky, but that's a great exercise to try to be as creative as you can possibly be. Go for writing, like you say to your mind, in your mind, I want to write something more creative and more crafty than the original. 
And, uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, I do my spin on it. And it, it could be a whole different topic from what their song's about. It, it's long, but it's got to make sense. It's got to tell a story, like I said. And it's got to make sense. And, of course, it's got to rhyme, right? So if they say, I want you tonight, yours has to be the same amount of words, right? I want you tonight. I want you is three words that only have one syllable, right? You know, um, me and you, all right. You know, I mean, I'm just making something up, but I'm saying, you know, um, it's got to be like that. It's got to be, you know, it's if it's a one syllable word, you know, like I said, you write a one syllable word. If it's a two syllable word, if it's a four syllable word, try to write a four syllable word. It gets hard. It's almost like a music songwriting crossword puzzle in a way, because, um, you know, like some in this, in this in this song and a lot of other songs, every other line rhymes. So you're not rhyming with the the first two. You're like rhyming with the next set, and then rhymes on the next level. I hope that makes sense too. Anyway, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you. Um, their chorus real quick so you can hear the chorus um, and uh, so um, here is their chorus without further ado here it up here it comes <laughs> That's their whole chorus. We're back. That's the whole chorus. So now I'm going to read you their lyrics, okay? I'm going to read you their lyrics so you can really, really grasp it. And listen to the... When, you, when you're done reading words, step back and look at what's the song about. Like, if you had to give a little, you know, a, a little paragraph about what the song is about, what the synopsis of the song is about. Like when you push info on a movie, it tells you what the movie's about, right? Same thing about the song. You listen to the words, and then you make an assessment of what you think the song's about. Or, you know, what most people would think the song's about. Anyway, here is their words. Oh, baby, I can feel the rush of adrenaline. I'm not scared to jump if you want to. Let's just fall in love for the hell of it. Maybe we'll just keep falling. I can feel the rush of adrenaline. I'm not scared to jump because I want you. Let's just fall in love for the hell of it. Maybe we'll just keep falling. So that's the whole thing. And then my words are, cause lately you treat me just like I'm invisible. I'm a ghost like glass that you see through. I should disappear and just let you go. Lately I'm invisible. You treat me just like I'm invisible. I'm a ghost like glass that you see through. I should disappear and just let you go. Lately, I'm invisible. So that's my words. So, you know, um, he's talking about, let's just do it. We both like each other, right? Every time I'm with you, I feel this rush of adrenaline. And... Uh, so theirs is like, let's just do it. Let's fall in love. Let's like be together, right? Where mine is, I'm over it. My story saying, I'm being treated like 
I'm not even here. Like I'm a ghost. That's why I said, you've been treating me like I'm invisible. I'm a ghost like glass that you see through. I should disappear and just let you go. Lately, I'm invisible. So my, you know, my story is much, much different than their story. But anyway, um, you know, like I said, a good way to write it is write their first line and then you can see every word that they have. And then you write your line underneath. But, you know, it's going to take you a while. This is not something you can do, like I said. Um, this isn't just like writing a grocery list. You have to really sit down and come up with an idea, a game plan about your story. Or sometimes the story unfolds as you start finding words that work. You know, single syllable words. Like it's, that's why I say it's like almost like a crossword puzzle. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm now I'm gonna run the whole thing. I found a karaoke track for this. So I'm gonna do the whole thing right now for you. that is all the time we have for tonight i can't wait to see what you wrote for the ghost chorus for this song that is all the time we have for tonight this is your songwriting partner your co-producer and as always your friend joe cb signing off until i see you guys tomorrow have a wonderful night i love you i miss you be safe and i will see you tomorrow peace